Boy, if I spit on your tune, I'll boss it. What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and today I'm back with a new video and this time I'm telling you how to get the most out of your bicep training. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. So we're going to start off with the two most important things during the lift and it is getting that full stretch. So it is taking the bar or the dumbbell all the way down, making sure you're getting a nice stretch of the bicep. And it's also the top of the movement, which is the squeeze. And that's the part essentially where you need to be squeezing as hard as you can to get your maximal contraction. So I'll always start my bicep training with a very heavy movement and this will be the easy bar bicep curl. So for this, I'll reduce the rep range, so I'll be hitting between sort of six and eight reps and making sure I'm loading, so I'm reaching failure at about eight reps. That way you can really focus on your progressive overload through the weeks and gradually add the weight to increase the weight load. And since because the bicep is only a very small muscle, you'll need to be doing about three or four exercises per session. So any exercises that I do after that are gonna be increasing the rep ranges and focusing more on that metabolic stress. Metabolic stress is essentially increasing the time that your muscle is under tension. And this therefore accumulates what are called metabolic subproducts and that's what produces your lactic acid and also your fatigue. And because the rest of the exercises will be solely isolation, it'll mean I can increase the rep ranges. So a very common exercise that I've seen people doing for whatever reason is the 21s, where you'll train sort of half your bicep for seven reps, the top half of your bicep for another seven reps, and then do the whole range of motion for another seven reps, total in 21. People usually train this just to get a nice burn in your bicep, and they'll include it towards the end of the session. However, I'm not a very big fan of it. Just because over the weeks, in terms of monitoring your progressive overload, or monitoring you slowly increasing the weights, it's very difficult to do that with 21s. So I much prefer a different sort of training technique to ensure you're still potentially building your strength but you're also introducing that metabolic stress after. So that's why I'm a massive fan of using drop sets instead of 21s. So with your drop setting, because it's two consecutive sets without any rest, it means you can still focus the first set using a much heavier weight and then you can get the metabolic stress through the second set by reducing the weight load and potentially training until failure. That way you can still monitor your progressive overload over weeks by increasing the weight load on the first set but then you're training sort of until failure or until you feel that burn that you do with the 21s by lowering the weight load. So it's a nice combination of strength training but also getting your burn. I'm also not a massive fan of training one section of the movement then the second section of the movement and splitting it up into different ones because I, I just, if I'm being honest, I just don't see the point. I'd rather focus on getting stronger throughout the whole range of movement so then you can increase your weight load gradually. And it also means you can do this with a perfect technique of stretching your bicep all the way down to the bottom and all the way up to the top. So I'm now going to show you a couple of exercises that I favour when training biceps. So as I said earlier, I'll always start with an easy bar curl, just because I can monitor the weight load nice and easy with that, and it's also a big heavy movement, so I'm getting my strength training through that. Then I'll also move on to the unilateral bicep curl, just with the dumbbell, just to make sure I'm improving the strength of both my biceps, because typically when you're using a barbell, uh, one arm might be stronger than the other, so you might overcompensate for that movement with your stronger arm, which means that your weaker arm is potentially suffering. So then I'll move on to a superset that I like to include with bicep training, which is the incline dumbbell curls supersetted with the hammer curls so I'm really stretching my bicep out as long as it's really targeting that long head with the hammer curls and since it is a superset and overall throughout the superset you'll be getting about 16 repetitions per whole set you're still inducing that metabolic stress and that is literally all I'll do for bicep day so overall I'm doing four different exercises two solid ones and then one of them is going to be superset. To be honest, you should find that you get a lot of bicep activation during your back days as well because it does act as a stabilizer or a secondary muscle throughout most of your rowing motions. So now here's some training footage from my bicep day. That the brothers on the rise now. And the celebrations all in my house. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Let the boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yell the time out. And the critic, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was having lip up in this. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my brother said, Who might get you what thing that happens in that? Oh man, I'm all bad, yeah, I'm all bad. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that.
So guys, that is the end of the vlog. Hope you found some of this information useful and you've introduced some of it into your training days when you're hitting your bicep. So once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like, and I will see you next time. move on to a nice little superset that I like to include which is the incline dumbbell <clears throat> then I'll move on to a nice little superset that I like to use which is the incline <clears throat> then I'll move on to a nice little superset that I like to use which is the incline dumbbell curl so I'm getting that massive stretch on my, my <clears throat> so then I'll <laughs> my cat talk man <sighs> focus Focus. There we go. So then I'll move on to a nice little superset that I like to include, which is the incline dumbbell bicep curl. I said that too slowly, man. Incline dumbbell bicep curl. Incline dumbbell curl. Then I'll move on to a nice little superset that I like to include, which is the incline dumbbell. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man.